everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, I am a teacher from the United States, but for the last four years I have been in Spain teaching English to literally hundreds of students, from preschoolers to adults. I love what I do and I'm here today to give you five different five minute games that you can throw into any one of your lessons. I love these games because they are so easily manipulated to work with lots of different group settings and lots of different ages. They're a great way to present or review vocabulary and they're just fun in general, so that's why I love them. Let's get started. All right, so my first game is called Vocab Race. You're gonna split your class into two teams and have them in two single file lines facing you. You're gonna have a stack of flashcards and you're gonna show the first two students the first flashcard. Whoever says it correctly gets a point for their team and then they go to the back of the line and the next two students come up I love this game because it's a really great way to review vocabulary and it works really well with young elementary students. All right, game number two is called Scategories. Give the students some categories or let them come up with the categories like food, places, people, and give them a letter and one minute to come up with as many answers as possible. This game is a great thing to throw in the last five minutes of class um, and the answers can get really funny so it's always fun to share your answers and that's Scategories. All right, so my next game is called Taboo. I love Taboo because it's a great conversation game. It gets all of your students talking. You can download some Taboo cards like I have here, or you can also make your own Taboo cards. Um, but basically what you're gonna do is have the students try to get the other students to guess whatever word is on their card. In real Taboo, you're not supposed to say the words under the target word, but I have found in my experience that my students are just not, um, they just don't have a high enough level for that. Um, so I just let them use all of the words um, and that actually reinforces their vocabulary. So this is a great game. I love it so much when I do it with my private classes or with small groups. It works really well. All right, so my next game is charades. Charades is really fun because you can use it with literally any unit or lesson or theme that you're working with. And it's really fun to watch your students blossom into actors and actresses. Um, this is just a really fun game. They obviously act out anything that you're teaching and the other students have to guess. It's really simple. Um, that's charades and it's great. All right, our last game is board race. Now board race is so much fun, but it can also get really crazy. What you're gonna do is split your class into two different teams and pick one representative for each team to go to the back of the class. And they're gonna have a writing utensil like a whiteboard marker or a piece of chalk. And you are going to shout out a vocabulary word or a question or anything that you're working with. And those two representatives have to run as fast as they can to the front of the room and write the word correctly on the board. Whoever gets it correctly and legibly, obviously you have to be able to read it, uh, gets a point for their team and that's board race. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those five minute games. If you use them in your classes, please comment below and let me know. And if you have any other games for me that you would like to share, please also comment because I'm always looking for cool games for my classes. And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.